In the previous lecture, we discussed what happens inside an LR circuit when we remove our battery from the circuit. So we discussed the equation that gives us the rate of change of our electric current I. So now let's look at the following application in which we're going to use that equation. So suppose a 24 volt battery is removed from a circuit that contains a resistor of 2 ohms and an inductor of 0.03 henrys. So in part A calculate the initial electric current I that flows at time equals 0 seconds when we remove our battery. So let's suppose we have the following electric circuit. So we have a resistor and an inductor and a battery of 24 volts. So at time equals 0 seconds, we remove our battery. And that's exactly when we want to calculate our electric current I. So this is the equation that gives us the electric current I as our electric current decreases. So once we remove our battery, we derive this equation in the previous lecture. So I is equal to the initial electric current multiplied by our E raised to the power of negative T divided by tau, where tau is simply our time constant. It's equal to the ratio of our inductance divided by resistance. So recall that I naught is simply equal to the ratio of the voltage of the battery given by V naught divided by R, and R is our resistance of our resistor. So I naught is equal to this, and this product is equal to this. Now our time is assumed to be zero seconds, so we plug in zero, this goes to zero, and since e to the zero is one, we see that I is equal to V naught divided by R. Now V naught is given to be 24 volts and R is equal to 2 ohms. 24 volts divided by 2 ohms gives us an electric current of 12 amps. So our initial electric current when we remove our battery at time equals 0 seconds is equal to 12 amps. And after some time, this quantity begins to decrease according to this equation. And in part B, we want to calculate how long it takes in seconds for the electric current to decrease to 50% of this initial quantity, that is, to 6 amps. So once again, let's begin with this equation and let's rearrange and let's bring all the I's to one side, to the left side of our equation. So we have I divided by I naught is equal to E to the power of negative time divided by tau. So let's begin by solving for tau. Tau is simply our time constant. It's equal to L divided by R. Now L is given by 0.03 Henry's and our R is 2 ohms. 0.03h divided by 2 ohms gives us 0.015 seconds. So now we know what our time constant is. And we also know what this ratio is. So, we want our electric current to decrease to 50% of its initial amount. So 50% of this quantity is 6. So 6 divided by 12 is simply 0.5. So 0 0.5 is equal to the uh, to our exponent raised to the power of negative t divided by 0 0.015 seconds. So we can take the natural log of both sides. This quantity beca becomes natural log of 0 0.5 and this well, when we take the natural log of an exponent, that exponent simply cancels out and we are left with the following ratio, negative time divided by 0.015 seconds. So let's bring this quantity to this side and multiply both sides by negative 1. So the time it takes for our initial quantity of current to decrease to 50% of that amount is equal to negative 
negative natural log of 0.5, which is a negative value. It's about 0.69, negative 0.69. So negative, negative becomes positive. Multiply that by 0.015 seconds, and that gives us about 0.01 seconds. So, this is the quantity of time it takes our electric current to go from a quantity of 12 amps to a quantity of 6 amps.